I recently did a video on Lineage 2M, NTSoft's latest new mobile MMORPG. I'm pretty excited because it actually looks pretty good and it takes advantage of their brand new purple platform, a platform that allows for mobile cross-play compatibility. That is a huge step in terms of allowing both PC players and mobile players to play games together. However, in deciding to make Lineage 2M their priority, several other games that were in production, namely Blade & Soul 2 and Ion 2, have been pushed back. I'll actually be doing a video on Blade & Soul 2 in the near future, but right now, Ion 2 is what I want to talk about. Ion 2, not whatever Ion Legion was. I played Ion Legion and and regardless of what people say, it just, to me, felt nothing like an Ion game. Ion 2 was announced back at G-Star 2018, over an entire year ago. And I know that mobile games don't have nearly as lengthy a development cycle as PC games, so we should be pretty far along by this point. Which is good news, considering Ion 2, much like Lineage 2M, actually looks like it could be a very solid title. Ion 2 specifically takes place almost a millennium before its PC predecessor, Ion the Tower of Eternity. The game features a brand new PvP system in the form of dimensional cracks, allowing players from various servers to engage with one another in large-scale PvP. No word on what form gliding or flying is going to end up taking as of the information we've been given thus far, but they did reveal that they are removing the gliding constraints that exist within Ion. NTSoft didn't really go too deeply into detail as to what exactly that meant. Maybe something like Perfect World Mobile? I don't really know. But they wanted to make gliding a more integral part of combat. Creating a three-dimensional battle system is the goal with flight, and that's... I don't know. Aerial PvP was one of the core parts of doing Battle in the Abyss, and I had a ton of good times engaging in aerial PvP with other players. They mentioned that they wanted to remove gliding restraints, but made no mention of flight itself. If they opted to remove flight, or at the least altered gliding, I, I don't know. It just, to me, that wouldn't really be an Ion game. In the state that Ion is in currently for PC, I feel like we need some positivity in the form of the Ion IP. When asked to elaborate on what the game would offer, NCSoft stated that Ion 2 would actually introduce features into the game which were unable to be realized in the original PC iteration due to limitations at the time of development. This time, with the technology at their disposal, they feel like it'll be possible to fully achieve their vision. In their words, it will no longer be a dream. As I'm sure you're aware, the basic premise of Ion is that there are two opposing factions, both the Ilios and the Ismodians. They have been at war for however long, I don't really know, I'm not entirely sure, as I don't recall that ever being addressed, and you get to choose between one of the two factions when beginning the game. Since Ion 2 is set 900 years before the beginning of the PC game, NTSoft have removed the opposing faction theme, instead allowing players to play as whatever they like and do battle with whomever they want to. This means that you'll find Ilios vs Ilios and Ismodians vs Ismodians out in the world. Not only are they removing factions though, but they're also claiming to have done away with, and I quote here, class segmentation. This means that there are no basic classes. Instead, players are able to wield various different weapons without restrictions. I know that this is good in theory, but removing class identity is not the way to improve on the game. People like choosing their class. People like being able to identify other players' class. Class identity is an integral part of an MMO, and this is just an altogether strange move. Additionally, NCSoft have made bold claims that the combat itself will be completely different to its predecessor as well, stating that there will be a new battle system that did not exist in the old Ion. Does that mean that it's going to just have like a basic combat system that is present in most mobile MMOs churned out these days? I guess we're gonna have to wait and see from additional footage that they supply in the future, but I'm a little disconcerted with that info, honestly. NCSoft are aiming high. Exactly what they'll be capable of achieving remains to be seen though. See, Ion is a great quality MMO. Yes, it does have its issues, nobody can argue otherwise. But back years ago, the game was probably one of the best MMOs on the market. It catered to the Arc Age crowd, players that were interested in open world PvP while still having the freedom to PvE as they wanted. Over time though, things changed, but that's how these things go. MMOs and even games evolve, not always for the better. So ultimately, I am left curious of the supposed additional features they plan on adding to Ion 2, however. I know that certain aspects of the game are going to be required to be altered, that makes sense. It's going to be on mobile devices after all, and mobile MMOs are quite different to PC MMOs, both aesthetically and mechanically. So my hope is that their goal isn't to put the majority of their effort into Lineage 2M due to the anticipated success of the game and leave both Ion 2 and Blade & Soul 2 underdeveloped. The engine Ion 2 is being developed on is currently unknown, I'm guessing probably Unreal Engine 4, since that seems to be the default these days, but the trailer itself looks damn good. And that's pretty much everything we know right now. I'm kind of excited, but at the same time, kind of on the fence. But that's just my opinion, my current impressions of the game and NCSoft's latest announcement. What do you guys think? Are you looking forward to it? Does it look exciting? Will you try it out or do you even want to? Let me know in the comments below, and let's talk about it. 
Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you all next time. Peace. Day.